What we're doing here is uh, pressing off one of our tanks that's finished fermentation. This process now, we've drained off all of the uh, high quality free run juice. We're now loading the press with the skins. We'll inflate the, uh, the air bag inside the press and extract all of the uh, juice that's remaining still in the skins. Once we've started pressing, we'll make uh, an extraction so that we have the high quality free run juice separated from the harder pressings um, of the Torquay outdoor. So now from one tank after the fermentation we're going into two separate tanks where the wine will finish primary fermentation and then we'll inoculate for secondary fermentation and then we have our, our finished wine. This press here has been specifically designed for the Montalto winery. You can see here, there's two jackets, brine jackets that run the circumference of the press and allow us to chill the fruit and hold the fruit at 8, 10, 12 degrees. The reason for this is that we can load the press with varietals like Sauvignon Blanc, Viognier, and then leave the, the fruit in the press for extended periods of skin contact. This allows us to extract more flavours from the skins and essentially more flavours in the result of wine. As our red wines are progressing through ferment, it's possible for us to make a more accurate assessment of the level of quality of each of the ferments. So as we progress, we make daily blends. For when we come to press off the wines, we can allocate the best tanks for each of the wines. This is the Montalto Pinot Grigio. Right tasting here in the, uh, the new Pinot Grigio vineyard which we expect to come online next year. In colour it's a lovely light straw. The nose is filled with a light peach, some pear and white apple. Palette. The palate's backed by a, a really lovely straight acid and this fresh pear. Lots of fresh fruit. Fresh pear, white apple to finish. Really fresh. And go great with uh, seafood pasta. the Montalto Nero d'Avola, sourced predominantly from Agrigento. It's got a brilliant purple hue, a really youthful nose, it's full of uh, fresh cherry, raspberry, there's integrated oak as well, a touch of clove, the nose is really complex. Pellet too, it's true to the nose. There's lots of uh, forward fruit, it's very primary. But it's backed by a really nice integrated French. Yeah, a small part of French oak. There's a lovely flush of uh, raspberry on the back pellet as well. That's very useful. It's drinking well.